from Paul Oryud Borchi, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Borchi State, Al Haji Hassan Sheriff, has warned the people of the state not to be swayed by recent remarks made by a former Minister of Police Affairs, Drive. Yakubu Lame that he was robbed of the governorship seat in 2015. Lame had addressed his supporters who came to his house in Borchi on New Year's Day to congratulate him on his appointment by President Muhammadu Buhari as chairman of the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, AMA, and declared his intention to re-contest for governor in 2019 to repair the damage done by the current administration. He commended the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, for playing a role in his appointment, and told his supporters that the Governor Mohamed Abubakar wanted to prevent it to no avail. Lame lost to Abubakar in the APC primaries in 2015, and accused officials of his party, the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Borchi State of electoral malpractice that denied him a chance to clinch the governorship ticket that year. But addressing a press conference at the NUJ Secretariat at the weekend, al Haji Sheriff, popularly known by his traditional title of Saki Awabochi said that Lame was the architect of his political fate. Sheriff said Lame has no one to blame but himself for his political travails. He stated that Lame had all the support he needed to become a governor in the state but the former minister traded them for for his selfish desires to the detriment at the people. The politician claimed that although he is in the PDP, he used his personal resources and money to support Lame for the governorship seat in 2015. He alleged that Lame refused to utilize the huge money he received from the likes of Chief Ahmed Bola Tiyubu. Bakola Saraki among other chieftains of the APC. The Saki Awabochi claimed that Lame, rather than take advantage of the connections at his disposal, he alleged that Lame channeled the huge resources he received for the campaign to build personal house in Abuja and revive his business. The politician also alleged that the former minister refused to consult with major stakeholders and party stalwarts T in his quest for the governorship seat saying Lame wanted to form his own government alone. He said Lame did not do his homework, and advised him to stop whipping sentiments to sway the people of the state to carry out protest votes as many politicians in the state often do. He said, Borchi people are tired of protests votes. I want to appeal to the voters in the state to be wary of politicians who always present themselves to the public as victims. This is what Lame is now trying to do when addressed his supporters and it is sad development. In 2015, even though I was in the PDP, I supported Lame for governor but unfortunately, he didn't do his homework and he lost. Although he lost, he was the biggest beneficiary because while we lost money, he gained. I recalled I was in my house when I received news that the APC primary election at Zarada was not going in his favor and Lame was in his house. I called him to go to Zarada because as a PDP member, I cannot be there, but he kept promising me he would go until the exercise was concluded and the results went in favor of Mohamed Abubakar who all along did his homework.